what kind of life did we have? Well, trilobites. Trilobites, one of everyone's favorite fossil. There were trilobites in Illinois of 300, 400, 500 million years ago. And they were here by the millions, by the billions. What was a trilobite? Well, a trilobite is, or was, a crab-like critter. I'll draw you a nice big picture of one here. They had heads, they had tails, and the middle part was segmented so that the trilobite could roll up, like those little roly-polies you find under a rock or under a piece of bark in the woods. They can roll up to defend themselves. Trilobites could roll up to defend themselves. Add a couple of antenna, a bunch of feet going down the side, and many trilobites had eyes, some of them great big bulging eyes. And if you can find a good fossil of a trilobite that has these nice big bulging eyes on it, and you look at it with a magnifying glass, you'll see the eye of a bee or a housefly looking back at you. They had very complex eyes, very fascinating looking eyes. So this was what a trilobite looked like. Now there were many different types that looked quite a bit different than this, and I should tell you that they really weren't this big. They were more that size or even maybe that size. But they were here in the millions, in the billions, uncountable numbers. They lived in the oceans of Illinois. And I have to tell you one other thing. Most people think of the dinosaurs as being old. And they are, I can't deny that. But these guys are much older. Trilobites were here before the dinosaurs ever appeared. They died out, they became extinct, vanished completely from the earth before the dinosaurs ever appeared. No dinosaur ever met a trilobite. So the dinosaurs may be pretty old, but the trilobites are really the old guys. Now how about this? Here's another example of life in the ancient oceans of Illinois. And you say, well, that's not too exciting. What is it? Well, it's kind of hard to tell. It's broken. It's only part of a fossil. And it's dead. That makes it a little hard. But scientists know what this once was. So I'll draw you a bit of a picture. If you can imagine an octopus in an ice cream cone-like shell, that's what this animal was. It's something we call a cephalopod or a nautiloid. And they were cousins of the octopus and the squids. And they had a long, narrow, tapering shell to protect themselves with. And these things were very common in the oceans of Illinois. Many, many of these swam in the ancient oceans. We find their fossils in the rocks all the time. Sometimes, in some places, you can pick up a rock this big, and there'll be six or seven of these fossils inside that rock. They were once very common. And as we sail around in our little boat, we better keep our feet inside the boat. Some of these things got to be 10 to 15, maybe 20 feet in length. So we might not want to encounter one of those. Another fossil would have sat something like this on the ocean floor. Doesn't look like too much, does it? Actually, it's in the shape of a horn of plenty, like you'd see around Thanksgiving, full of vegetables. Well, this thing wasn't full of vegetables. Actually, it's a horn coral. And a coral is a tropical sea animal. So this is another bit of evidence that the oceans here were tropical, that this was a warm tropical place four to five hundred million years ago. And why was it a tropical place? Well, to understand that, we have to go to uh, a study in science called plate tectonics.